excuse me. Hello everyone. And I know this is a uh, off time for me for to stream, but um, like I said yesterday, I thought I did two posts for uh, Meet Joe Black. You know, um, I don't like people messing with me, man. And I don't mess with nobody. So I'm a live and let live kind of guy because, you know, I don't want to get serious about nothing. So my thing is like, I'm playing games, man. Here's why we here. So let's just hop right into it. The Reaver Bolt is for sale. And uh, that's a totally different game right there. What I want to get into. is yeah I'm about to shut that down the reaver bolt or if you not do not recall nobody really has the reaver bolt at MK2 because the reaver bolt was a special reward for getting certain things done on the test server so that's why i'm making it such a big deal because it's being sold so cheap at mk2 um right now the reaver bolt is it looks like a dinosaur uh it won't let me spin it okay so i tried to do that tried to spin it but the reaver bolt was a special reward it looks like a dinosaur um so it's the bolt it has two dashes i think 55 is his base speed and it's at they're selling it at level one mk2 right now for the low low price of three dollars usd i wanted to put that up and let everybody know that but as long as we're here we'll see what all the other sales are um the megalodon orochi with two punchers all mk2 all well, these components that's garbage and this is a very rare sale here um but i'm pretty sure most champs already have all their monarchs and all their orions but the 99 cent sales um on steam i'm on steam that is so rare like on android and other stuff like that i get 99 se cent sales all the time but on steam no you don't get 99 cent sales but 2500 as everyone knows is not many components uh only reason why you would buy this is if you would get 500 gold for making a purchase and the 500 gold would help uh, do that and then you would uh, upgrade your monarch and get the 500 gold um, so I don't advise buying either of these parts because um, a, a lot of times these parts come in the uh, boxes so um, that's not something I would do these are all great pilots but I would not buy them for 2500 gold um, Tal Makri is for the Spectre. Basil Lapate is for 800 meter and above weapons. Jack Moore is for the Strider. Jack Moore for the Strider is a beast. Um, you guys all know I stopped uh, streaming gameplay uh, since my internet here. Um, I've had so many providers come out try to get it back up to the right thing it, it it's just not happening man that's the reason why i'm not showing gameplay like that and that's why i make videos every so often so my streams are more about the technicalities of the game instead of just showing the game um and that's it and here are your holiday things um if you're really playing like that you will have plenty on slot reactors already um, but for those of you who don't play like that, 199 for the Onslaught Reactor for you, for Christmas. Um, as far as these other Christmas boxes, man, 
don't even bother. They're not giving you um, good drops. They're not giving you good drops, man. We can go in there and I can show you what you're going to get, you know, for your six ninety nine dollars or whatever. So, so right here, you have a very low chance of getting the Gothic Mars, the Mars, the Seraph, the Unknown Seraph, the Kitsune Harpy, the Elders Kepri, the Freedom Skyros, the Gothic Fainter, Augmented Scald, the Spirit Smuda. I have, I have the Seraph and the Mars. I don't have the Unknown. I don't have the Gothic. I have the Kitsune Harpe, and which the Kitsune Harpe was a free gift. If you guys do certain things, you can get this stuff for free. But I don't have the Elders Capri. I do have the Freedom Ski Rules, which was also a win, like a win in a contest. Everybody complains that, you know, you hardly ever win. Yeah, I hardly ever win, but when you win, you win like limited edition stuff. You don't win junk. Um, so when Adrian and, and Manny and all them other guys are giving out stuff, enter those contests and that helps them get, you don't understand how you helping that person get more handouts for you. If you don't enter, right, somebody's going to win it anyway in that thing. If you don't enter, then they don't get more handouts. So um, get into it and uh, whenever they're giving that out, give it out and i won two augmented skull i have two spirit smoothers i haven't won the, the gothic fainter or anything yet i have uh two spirit rash doors as well one eldritch cremola i've won i've won at least th uh three eldritch venom i've won at least two stellar prismas one freedom mace um, I don't have any freedom hammers yet. I, I won one freedom cudgel. Um, all the rest of these are normal edition. But you have Captain Clive, Kate O'Donnell. I won a Kate O'Donnell. And I'm using her on the Behemoth Myth right now with punchers. Um, not the best Behemoth uh, pilot. But uh, Kate O'Donnell's skill is this. Once you lock somebody down any weapon that applies lockdown does better so uh eight percent more so i mean not a bad pilot you know if you win it for free or whatever the rest of this is garbage let's be honest man so i got 150 we'll spend this and we'll see what we spend for crap I just want to see what's actually in the rest of this box. Let's just go ahead and just claw, jaw, and so I got jaw. 500 components. But let's see what's in that box, actually. You have the nether in there. The spear, which is super broken. Claw, jaw, and talon are all broken. But, you know, it is what it is, man. They have whole blights in there. The Sinisters versions in there. The Elders Blight. And the Spear is super broken anyway. They had the Unknown Decay. They had the Cryptic Hazard. They had the Gothic Fainer in here, which was in the last uh, thing. Now, this pilot here is for the Nether. This pilot will make your Nether so friggin' broken, man. Because every time you dash, right, it gets Shield Breaker for five seconds. And everybody knows that Nether has five dashes. Five. Not two. Not three. Five. And all the rest of this is garbage. Because them little components and everything. Only other thing that is better is the neck tier tokens. And uh, I just want to show that. We're going to get into here. Because let's get into how stupid uh, this is. Like, I've opened two of these easily. But look what the actual rewards are anyway. At the most, you're going to get half 5,000 components. 
half. Okay, you're not winning a whole anything here, and you you already know they're getting ready to get do away with these chips, and you win chips. So these chips turned into money. So this is garbage. This whole setup is garbage, man. And to open it, you need to open them all. Seven thousand five hundred, and then that'll give you a chance at something over here. So something over here and before they were guaranteeing them they'd only have like three or four prizes but they would guarantee that you would get now they're giving you less in the regular box and then when you get over here the actual prizes aren't really anything you know this is normal stuff see now you got the scavenger lantern scavenger dazzler the buy who luchador scavenger heimdall i mean i have all that stuff already you have the mahavadra and the vadra but they're not limited edition the indra here you have, do have the kraken but it's hard to get this stuff the kraken the kraken and the kraken and the immune amplifier those are the real things and the durability extender but the damage controller the drones and all the other stuff is just straight up junk that they got thrown in there and which you're more likely to actually hit um, so this one does look like they're still doing the guarantee on the, uh, the glaze and the lance and the ether okay it's not a limited edition ether yet but I'm pretty sure they'll put one out real soon so you'll be getting the lance and the glaze more more than likely because it says glaive twice so it's, you're more than likely to hit the glaive um, out of everything here but I'm not impressed with the ether I've I've killed several of them just uh fine. I prefer the Al Ming over the ether at this point with double alphas and double uh, betas so everybody that's my um, latest take on war robots since I had to come in here and update uh, my builds uh because somebody in the forums actually got level 60 plus on their thing by building stuff so i said hey man let me try to see what i can do you know and i i started around level 35 because i've been stopped around level 35 i've been stopped building stuff i just depended upon wins and youtube prizes after that but I said, let me start going back in and building my own stuff because I've never had glories and da 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 da. So I started building glory. So all the stuff that I don't have anymore, I'm going back to the workshop, knocking off the cobwebs and getting it back in. And as usual, everyone, you know, I don't have no beef with nobody. And 13 minutes is a long time for me. I just have a couple of comments to say every time. Uh, thank you all. And everyone knows when I really stopped playing uh, War Robots like that, man, I, I got a lot of hate. I went from about 85 subscribers down to like 60. It don't matter. Um, I made a post about that last night. And don't don't throw no hate no way, my way, man. I love everybody love peace happiness everybody take care of yourself and i'll see you out there on the battlefield don't forget across the top of my banner uh there are my five favorites sitting there hope you guys will go and check them out